Here's my colony of Madagascar hitching roaches. A member of Arachnoboards generously offered to send me them for the price of shipping. And I think he even paid a little extra on the shipping too. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen roaches. Let me count those again. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so I've got a nice starter colony of 17 roaches. This one is obviously very dominant. <laughs> Vaseline really interferes with climbing. There's no way they're getting over that. This is my hissing cockroach setup, and well, I tried using a zoo mad heat mat. Always been interested to see if the cockroaches are actually hiding under this contraption right here. And I guess they do. So yeah, this 8 watt here just wasn't enough. I can't, can't focus. I just, uh, so, Getting a little different type of heater, a Flunker's uh, 20 watt heater. Maybe 20 watts won't be enough. I actually don't know at this point. But uh, this is a, an infrared heater instead of a convention heater. So it's going to be better placed in the cage. And as you can see, it kind of fits real nicely. Oh, I. Uh, I'll just stick it like that using some tape and hopefully that will do well for them and then my heating problems will be solved but as of now the colony I lost one so I think I'm down to 16 roaches which is definitely a good number I, mean, I don't have any reason to be concerned really more vegetables. We need to do that. This is a male hissing cartridge. Okay, that's heating pad installed. This is a 20 watt flunker, flunker's infrared heat pad. So it's not convention. It actually has infrared rays that go through there. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully they like it the better than that 8 watt Z-Med when I had formerly. <laughs>